Hey everyone, just a breaking news. Um, unfortunately, we have received some, you know, kind of sad news uh, in regards to uh, the attempt of assassination to a former, you know, president, Donald Trump, uh, just happened uh, not too long ago. Um, and it's just kind of sad to see this. I mean, um, this happened right off uh, at uh, Pennsylvania, one of the rallies that he was doing. I mean, definitely there's um, enough video to show that, you know, there were several shots um, to the point where obviously he had has got some injury, uh, you know, over, I believe, his left ear. It, it's just sad that we get into these extremes, you know, between the blue and the red. And it doesn't matter because I think that as a nation, we're so separated um, that it's quite sad. Um, but no one should be, um, you know, no one should deserve to be in such a, you know, death, you know, almost uh, threat. Um, you know, they're both politicians. They're trying to win the race. Um, but it is quite sad. And uh, as based on an update that I wanted to give real quick is as a as of this time, the most recent update says that the law enforcement source of um, Fox News, uh, uh, Mr. Henrich, uh, the shooter is dead and two others have also died. OK, and. Um, and also President Biden has been briefly uh, informed about the accident. And uh, the White House also alert. I mean, unfortunately, um, so far as far as the news says here uh, in Fox 29, uh, you know, it, it, it's just something that I think it should never have happened. Um, and it's just sad, like I said, why, why are we going to these kind of extremes? Um, you know, when we get to, you know, politics and things like that, I mean, we should all try to, to you know, as a nation to come together. And whoever deserves to win, they're gonna win. You know, it's not like we have much of a choice. These are two, you know, uh, you know, uh, boom, uh, called baby boomers, <laughs> you know, coming into, uh, you know, being trying to be presidents again. And I think that it's not like we have much of a choice whether or not we have other politicians that could step up and maybe even being younger and planning to really, um, you know, help this country one way or another. Nobody wants to really even get into becoming a president any longer. So these are the two choices that we have, whether we like it or not, this is what we got. But still, again, um, you know, yes, I've been a, a democratic all my life. At this point, I don't even know what I am anymore because I'm so disappointed on both sides. That's the truth, but that's besides, that's my opinion. But no one deserves what it was, whether this could have happened to Biden or whether now it has happened to, to, to um, you know, Trump, uh, neither one deserves this. And I think now we have people who have died through the process we have, uh, like I said, the gunman. Uh, he was he was definitely dead. Uh, they shoot him probably, um, and that's the, uh, you know up to the date um, of the news. And um, anyhow, I ask God for for peace. I mean, there's pictures here of him, you know, um, on the floor. He's bleeding out of his left ear. Hopefully, uh, I mean, it's obvious that it shows right there, as you can see. And then the worst president in the history of our country took over, and look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happens. <laughs> it's just terrible. It's. Uh, we're watching here. Uh live this event happening over in Pennsylvania and it it seems like popping sounds over in the background we've had uh, the secret service members kind of have a former president Donald Trump duck there from the podium I'm going to pump up the audio so we can keep listening in to this happening right now you ready it's your Anyhow, so yeah, that's uh, one of the latest. Um, let's hope for the best, but especially let's hope for peace. I mean, uh, my my whole thing is that you know we're just a few months apart from from the, another election. Uh, let's all try to be at peace. My God, I mean, you know, it's just sad to see this. Anyhow, uh, I hope for the best. Uh, that's all I can say. Anyhow, let you go. Take care. Bye-bye.